Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. Hey, didn't expect to hear me, did you? <laughs> well, Deborah's got work stuff to do, so she can't make it so. Randy here behind the camera, doing the sound, doing the talk, and Terry over there with the number one dog. Yes, in addition to the number one dog, whose name is Casper, Randy, by the way, and she's a girl with the name of Casper. Oh, Casparina. <laughs> this, do you know what day today is? Basically, today. Uh, did I forget something? Did I you forget did? our anniversary? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Now, it's not our anniversary, you and me. It's our anniversary of doing Rescue Me. It is our 16th anniversary of Rescue Me. 16 years, Randy, Rescue Me. It just flew by. I, I mean, we told the other people on the set this is the 16th year of Rescue Me. They couldn't believe it. And some of them have been with us from day one, like yourself. Uh, yeah, been here every time. Never missed it. Years, 16 years. So we're very happy to be showing all of the animals today, and it's a very special day for us. But what we have to say to the people at home is that we're saying the same things that we were saying on day one of Rescue Me. Saving the animals is our number one priority. What our goal and mission is, is to have no euthanasia of adoptable animals. And so what we're doing is telling you the same things that we told you a year ago and the year before that, and the, the message year before that. Changes. The message never changes. I because went over it works. It. It, works. it works. We're talking about IDs on pets, and what we're talking about is a simple thing of putting, like on this, well, you can't really uh, see it's under his collar, but anyway, thing. What, <laughs> right. What we, if you have a canvas collar, you simply put your phone number on the canvas collar, and then the animal will return to you and not have to come to the shelter and take up a space of another animal who needs it. Well, everybody so, thinks, you know, get a license, hang it on the collar. That's really good. But your neighbor doesn't know that that's know, your dog. I know. When they see him, you know, dog down the street, phone number, they call you. You walk down the street, you've got your animal back. And it's cheap. A Sharpie marker, a canvas collar, you put your phone number on that collar, your dog or cat comes back to you. Cheap insurance. Cheap insurance. So put IDs on pets. That's what you can do today to celebrate our 16th anniversary, if you like, if you don't already have that on your animal. Oh, yeah. Send me a picture of your Sharpie marker dog <laughs> as an anniversary <laughs> present. That'd be good. Good for, good for you, Randy. <laughs> You're really making the folks motivated at I'm home. working it. Now... Spay neuter, very important. We have enough animals. We just don't need any more litters of cats or dogs. So, spay and neuter your pet if your pet is not spayed and neutered. Number three, adopt, don't shop. What does that mean? Well, that's a real simple one. <laughs> there are a lot of homeless animals around who need a home. You don't need to go shopping at the pet store for a pet. The pets here are just as good as those at the pet store. And every pet you buy from a pet store means a breeder is going to breed one more to fill that space. Gosh, Randy, you have a lot of good information. <laughs> you learn something after 16 years. Yes, you do. So we encourage you to come down here, adopt an animal from a shelter. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be Woods or any of the other uh, places around town that have adoptable animals because we are all in this together. All the animals of the county are our animals. Terry, speaking yeah. of this one yes. and adopting, who yeah. is this one again? This one is Casper, and I'm going to get to her as soon as I finish my last thing about what, what else? volunteering. Ah. The fourth thing that you can do to help the animals is come down here and volunteer with us. We need help. Casper's getting a little restless, uh, will you say? A long time on set here. Yes. Okay, so Casper wants to be adopted. Let's talk about Casper. Okay. Casper is a little beauty. We get lots of little dogs, big dogs, whatever you want. You find it here at the best pest store in the county. Casper's number is 194187. Every animal here has a number. Write the number down if you see one you want to call about so people know who you're talking about. And Casper has got the softest fur. I've been petting her here for the time we've been talking, and her fur is so soft. And as you can see, she's very patient sitting here on my lap while I go on and on talking about Obviously everything. a great little calm dog to have around your house. Casper, 194187. Oh, Randy, this is Maggie and she has become the favorite of the volunteers. So much so that we have made her the volunteer pick of the month. 
Well, that's a real honor. That's a great honor. She's a great dog, and that gets you half off your adoption fee if you come down here and adopt her. That's a great bargain. She's a wonderful dog, and as you can see, she's got a tennis ball in her mouth. She must like to play with balls. She likes a tennis ball. She likes to play with them. She likes to run with them. She likes to have them. She likes to see them. Anything tennis ball is for her. She's focused. She is very focused. She uh, loves, loves, loves people. Her tail is always wagging, and she's just a happy, happy dog. She is ID number 162556. Her name is Maggie, and she loves her tennis balls. This is the sweetest dog. This is Angel, and she is aptly named. And right there, you see her leaning into MJ. Uh, I tell you what, T, just order me up one medium size, brown, affectionate, affectionate, affectionate hound. See what I mean, Randy? This is the thing. Once again, here is what you get with Angel. She is so affectionate. She loves her person. And I think that's the basic reason why a person wants to adopt a dog, is to have that loyalty between the human and the animal. And Angel delivers 100%. Her ID number is 213360. She is a doll. 213360 Angel. When the dog likes to donut, you just kind of look into her eyes, those blue eyes. Wow. She is uh, said to be great on a leash and appears house trained. She knows sit and down, and she's a very sweet girl. She's very popular with the volunteers, and you can see why. Well, if nothing else, she wags her tail constantly. Well, she does, and she is a looker. This dog's going to get you noticed. She is ID number 922380. Her name is Sedona, and she's a lover. Okay, you German Shepherd lovers out there, here is Bianca. She is gorgeous. Look at that face. She needs to be an only dog. She doesn't get along well with other dogs, but that shouldn't be a problem for you because many people want an only dog. She is ID number 217191, Bianca. Meet Bowser. He's the most enthusiastic dog we've got in this kennel. He's happy-go-lucky. He's a great dog and he likes to play with other dogs. He appears house trained. He's a strong dog, but he's wonderful. His ID number is 200822, a tail wagger extraordinaire, as you can see. Happy, happy boy. ID number 200822, and he has half of his adoption fee paid. So this is a great dog at full price. We're gonna give him to you at half price. Consider Bowser. Two zero zero eight two two. He needs a home now. You are looking at a beauty, and it just so happens that her name is Beauty. She is a Queensland healer, but she is black, so we think she might be suffering from what we call black dog syndrome. Black dogs get overlooked sometimes, but this one really is a beauty. She has that nice splash of white on her chest with a little bit of marking. She is a wonderful, wonderful dog. We think she'd do best as an only dog in a home with an older person. She'd make a great, great companion. Uh, one of our volunteers who knows everything there is about dogs tells us that this is the greatest dog we've got here. So we have it on good authority that she is excellent. Her ID number is 929647. Her name is Beauty and she will make you a wonderful, wonderful companion. 929647. Beauty. Well, this is an adorable dog. What you see is what you get Wait, here. I, I don't. I don't see it. Where yeah, is it? Where is it? Oh, there. That little teeny speck. <laughs> I see it now. There it is. She is so cute, and she's very, very lovable. Once again, a great companion dog. This dog would be content just to be your sidekick. She won't take up very much space, as you can see, Randy. She's tiny. She's tiny. Great attitude. She is a wonderful lap dog, which is what you want in this small dog. She gets along with all the other little dogs that we have here also. She is uh, a senior, eight years old, which means she qualifies for our senior rebate. So if you adopt her, 
we give you $35 back on your adoption fee. And that can pay for an awful lot of food for a small dog like this, Randy. Feed it for the rest of his life. <laughs> I would <didn't> say. <laughs> Izzy is ID number 217188. Come down and meet her. You will fall in love. Here is a wonderful dog. Her name is Annie. She is exuberant, exuberant, exuberant. She plays like a puppy. She is a puppy and she's going to need another dog to play with. We suggest a male dog for her to play with. She plays hard. She plays fun. Her ID number is 216141. Volunteers call her a bouncy puppy. 216141. Annie, very, very smart, very, very intelligent dog. She has been in training with some volunteers here and they've been able to teach her so many things. But, as you can see, she is a wild child. What you see is what you get. ID number 216141. This is Annie. <laughs> she will walk herself. <laughs> Meet Catalina. Do you like her markings, Randy? I love them. I love the colors. I love the, the look of this dog. It's just like every kid's dream, I think. Yes, this looks like a dog who needs a boy. I like that freckling around her nose. She is an Australian cattle dog. Love that breed. Smart, too. They yes. Always are. I hear from the volunteers that she is really good on a leash. So if you want a dog that you, you know, can have with you, nice companion dog, Good temperament. Catalina is the one for you. Her ID number is 170916. She's a little bit older. She's a senior, so she qualifies for our senior rebate. But she's a darn good dog. Catalina, 170916. This is Bella. Randy, look at the size. Isn't that a good size? Nice, nice medium. Range. Mm. Solid. Mm. She's a gal. She's <laughs> medium solid. She's a gal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> she is a gal. She's just about four years old. I like that color, that buff color. She is uh, ID number 217200. Her name is Bella. I cannot imagine that someone is not missing this dog. This I, dog is stunning. How do you lose this dog? I know. I mean, you just follow the sled. It's I know. This is a stray dog. If someone had put a phone number on his collar, he'd be home with his owner right now. But no, he's not. He's at the shelter. He is a newcomer. We found him on the 19th of April in San Luis on the 300 block of Higuera. So he is a stray. He's just about two years old. And he's male. He is a lot of dog, Randy, as you could see. He's strong. He's yes, big. Yes. He's, a, he's a big dog. He's going to need a lot of brushing if you adopt him. He is ID number 217274. And if his owner does not come and collect him, we are calling him Zion, and he will be available for adoption on the 25th of April. So if you're interested in him, come down and meet him. He is gorgeous. 217274, we'll be calling him Zion. We haven't had many of this breed around here. What is it? This is a bull terrier mix. You can see that. Um, as soon as those ears go up. That snout is so bull terrier. Anyway, it is Violet. As you can see, she's very exuberant. She is a, kind of a loner dog. She doesn't get along with the other dogs, but you can have her on her own and she will give you a run for your money, I think. She is ID number 214836. Her name is Violet. Randy, do you remember Rin Tin Tin? I loved Rin Tin Tin and I think Rin Tin Tin just came back. Rin, Rin of the Rin Tin Tin came back. So this is just Rin. <laughs> it might be short for Rin Tin Tin, but it's just Rin. He is a wonderful shepherd. He is an older shepherd. He's eight years old, so he qualifies for the senior rebate. That gives you $35 back on his adoption fee. 
and he's just a very nice boy. He's not doing well at the shelter at all. He needs to get out now. Some of our dogs do better than others here. A this lot of one, dogs don't like it here no. because it's just too many other dogs, too much confusion, too many yes. strange people. Yes, all of that. So this guy really needs to get out of here. So if this is a shepherd that appeals to you, come on down here and meet Rin. His ID number is 217328. Qualifies for the senior rebate, $35 back in your pocket. I win. I win! In your face! USA! 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 Think of all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Back, Ammon? We are having a demo here with Zoe and the tennis ball because it is her constant companion. I don't know why we didn't call her Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> tennis well, balls are the thing. Here well, comes the tennis ball. That could have been something, too. She is so focused on tennis balls, and the, the tennis ball calms her down. She is um, deaf, but it doesn't seem to bother her one bit, and the volunteers work with her, and she's a happy, happy dog. Everything that they say about her <laughs> is very good news. More demonstrating her like of the tennis ball. She has half of her adoption fee paid. We are so motivated to get her into a good home quickly that we have put up half of her adoption fee. She is a great, great dog. Everyone who's taken her out of the shelter to take her on a day trip say she does so well. And she's been here since December 28th, Randy. Can you imagine that? That's a long time that to be living in the shelter. That is a long time. And she really has kept her temperament pretty good. She's. She's not doing that well anymore, but she has been okay. So her ID number is 158036. Her name is Zoe. Half of her adoption fee is paid. You, as you can see, you're going to need a stock of tennis balls <laughs> to keep her amused. Buy some stock in the company. <laughs> Other than that, please come down, meet her, take her out of here, adopt her. 158036 Zoe. Here is a newcomer to the shelter. We found this dog stray on the 19th of April in the South County, Napomo, the 500 block of Allegra. As you can see, he is uh, a Welsh Corgi Border Collie cross. He is uh, male and he's neutered. He's about seven years old. He's ID number 217278. If his owner doesn't come and collect him, we are going to put him up for adoption, and his name is Benny, and he has a sweet, sweet face. ID number 217278. Are you missing him? Meet Charlie. Isn't he very attractive? I love that tricolor on him, that small dog, and I bet he is uh, very silky, his fur. He's just about a year and a half old, and his ID number is 217091. What about those ears? You know, <laughs> I'm crazy for these ears on these dogs. I like his ears a lot. What do you think, Randy? They're a selling point. You know, <laughs> Yeah. Antenna up, tail wagging, yeah. set. He's a happy, happy dog. This is Zeus. He is about three years old. His ID number is 217309. And the volunteers say he is really, really good on the leash. He likes to play fetch and he appears house trained. All good things in a dog. You pretty much need that list of things. You do need that one list. One way or another, you're either going to train them to do it or they already know. And Zeus knows it all. His ID number is 217309. His name is Zeus.
Well, look at this fella. This is a newcomer to the shelter. Can you imagine this guy was picked up stray at Soto Park in Arroyo Grande? Oh, man, he's so tiny. He looks like a little puppy. He is a puppy, just seven months old. Somebody's looking for him. I hope they know to come to the shelter. You know, so many people, Randy, don't even realize that we're here. And we're the place to look for a lost dog. This is the only place in the county to look for the lost dogs. They all come here. I realize that. And of course, if our little friend here had his phone number on his collar, right, he wouldn't be here. He would be at home with his little boyfriend or little girlfriend kids that he could play with. But he's here. Anyway, we found him on the 24th of April in Arroyo Grande, as I say. If he doesn't get collected by his family, we're going to put him up for adoption. His name will be Hershey. ID number 217374. If you want to come meet him, please do. Well, you're looking at a snake, not a cat, not a dog. We've got a two-year-old male snake. His name is Drogo. He is adoptable right here from the shelter, and he is $32.50. That's his adoption fee out the door. We have been working with him for a bit, and everyone who works with him thinks that he is easy to handle, calm, relaxed, confident, eager to please, if you can imagine that in a snake, and very tolerant. Again, just about two years, years old, Drogo, ID number 216913. He'll make a wonderful, wonderful pet. Now I'd like to introduce you to some of our cats. We're starting out here with Polly, who is your ideal calico cat. She is only eight months old. She's so playful and so young. Everybody wants a calico like Polly. In fact, she is a Torby. She's got some tabby markings on her, so you've got to come down and see her in person. She is so good looking. Her ID number is 217318, and her name is Polly. Well, here's a beautiful cat. We are calling her Patsy. She's just about a year old, and she is a um, dilute tortoiseshell. She is ID number 217282. Very friendly, very curious, everything a cat should be. That's Patsy, 217282. Well, you Siamese lovers, here we have a chocolate point Siamese. She is named Sheba. She's just about three years old, and she is ID number 217312. Come on down, you Siamese lovers, and meet Sheba, 217312. Well, here are one of these big tabbies, like I love... And if you like a big tabby like I like a big tabby, you're going to love Bo. Bo is about two years old, ID number 217290. He is very cool, calm, and collected and can fit into any situation. A lovely cat. ID number 217290. That's Bo. Oh, no. Banzai Cat is attacking the village. Mighty Banzai Cat is stalking before the final kill. We'll never get out of here alive if he sees us. We'll never escape in time. Ah! Medic! Medic! Is this the end of civilization? Mighty Banzai Cat waits no more! Ah! With one flick of the tail, it's all over! Colonel, where's that airstrike order? Mm, the bombers are useless Ew. against Banzai Cat. Think of all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Well, here's a nice big boy. This is a tabby on white. We're calling this guy Cuddles. He's kind of shy right now, but we're going to bring him around. He's just about a year old. ID number 217310, Cuddles. Say hi to Cutie, and this cat is a cutie. There are a lot of you out there who love the gray cats, and Cutie is one of those. She is just about 
four months old, and her ID number is 217176. That's Cutie. Say hi to Anna. She is a calico ha cat, but she has a lot of tabby markings. She's just about three years old, and her ID number is 217205. She's a little bit fearful here. Volunteers have been petting her and grooming her and trying to make her more adoptable. And if you've got any time on your hands, we could certainly use you to come down here and volunteer with the cats to socialize them, to talk to them, and to make them more adoptable. If you're interested in volunteering, call the volunteer line, 781-4413, and we can give you more information about that. Right now, consider adopting Anna, 217205. Here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat in Napomo on Whispering Meadow Lane. We found him on the 20th of April. And we think he's about four years old. His ID number is 217288. Are you missing him? If so, call the shelter up and make arrangements to come and get him. 217288. If nobody calls, we're going to be calling him Ted, and he's available for adoption. I want you to meet Turtle. Turtle is a female. She's a senior, so she is um, eligible for our senior rebate. What that means is we will give you $35 back, $35 back on her adoption fee if you come down here and adopt her. She needs a place to retire, plain and simple. Do you have a spot on a windowsill where she can just lay down in the sunshine and look out the window? That's really what she would be after. Her ID number is 217314. Her name is Turtle. And let me tell you that we're starting out with kitten season. So if you've got any time on your hands at all, we're going to start getting full with kittens. And you can come down here and hold some kittens. What's hard about that? But in the meantime, consider our senior Turtle. ID number 217314. 